Hey YouTube, I'm back with another recap video of another round of play of our game of 1940, complete with playtesting uh, a few new elements. We we're playing with France, uh, being divided up into Vichy France, as well as being having an element of French resistance. So that means that any country that has its capital taken, if they are able to take out a territory, uh, to liberate a territory, or just take any territory from the enemy, they get one infantry unit to place in any territory that they control. Um, so we're playing with that. We're also playing with Chile and Argentina just being pro-Axis. And we're also playing with the Dutch, who have basically been wiped out, uh, minus the one unit that they get in um, uh, United Kingdom. And uh, most noticeably, the element of Spain after um, playing this uh, a pregame of the Spanish Civil War. And in our scenario, the Republicans won. So there is a, uh, a little Anzac in Europe, basically, is what I've been calling them. Um, on that note, um, let's get, to, get on with what happened. Germany is uh, making progress on its stranglehold of Russia. Japan is helping out. So things are looking very grim for Russia. There's a lot more damage on that factory than, than just that one chip. I just took it off because I'm planning to uh, fix that. Um, but yeah, there was a huge battle in Belarus. Uh, I knocked out his standard infantry and some of his mechs, but uh, that factory in Romania and what he's got with Leningrad and uh, Ukraine are, and now what Japan has in uh, Stalingrad, really not helping. <laughs> um, there's an interesting uh, news on the C Calcutta Crush Front. Um, he took Yunnan back, and then I have brought every almost everything in from India into uh, Burma, and also took that back. So I eliminated some tanks and some mechs up there. He has again a factory in French Indochina and Malaya. So things about here are about to get very very dicey. <laughs> um, let's see. Russia had taken Ukraine at one point. Um, and uh, Japan took it back. Uh, things up here aren't going to be looking great fairly soon. And then down here, uh, he is strangling Anzac, uh, congregating off the coast of Sydney, freeing up the convoys in New Zealand and Queensland, and building up here. So I have to make a decision. <laughs> um, the, ba the battle we had several rounds ago where I lost a chunk of my navy um, early on uh, really hurt me. So I'm trying to play catch up a little bit, but we'll see what happens with it. Um, either way, there's stuff is going to get really interesting over here. I sent my air for my extra air force down to um, Queensland, help them out. Uh, Australia is doing a okay job fortifying right now, but all, and all of his transports are over here and over here. So I have to see what he does with them. Moving over this way, you can see the pipeline of, An of uh, Anzac and UK troops on the way to India, but now this is happening, so I don't really know what to do with that quite yet. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, and then here, as you can see here, um, big noticeable thing, uh, France took out Sicily, hopping off the US transport, so now the Allies can land in Sicily. Um, so it's going to help out with or my bombing, planned bombing runs, as you can see. Spoiler alert, that's gonna be my move, one of my moves for next turn. Uh, Germany is fortifying in Western Germany as well as Southern France. Um, side note, from the beginning of the game, we decided that we're changing this border. So you can't go from Northern Spain straight into uh, Southern France. Um, so this border is gonna be like that. Okay, so that's one one thing we're gonna, definitely gonna update. Again, we are play testing these. Um, appreciate anybody curious about um, uh, getting the files for these, but they're right now, like they, like I said, they are play testing. Um, I'll make them public at some point in the future uh, once we are uh, certain that we're and happy with what we have. So coming to a coming to a screen near you, and you can print at your leisure. Um, Let's see what else. Oh yeah, so since we're playing with the French resist the, the resistance rules, so since France took over Sicily, um, that means that they get one extra infantry unit to place in, an, in a territory they control. So I placed it in Morocco. Um, the one Republican infantry from Algeria also moved over to Morocco. Uh, two other French units made their way off that transport 
into Spain to fortify, and uh, Italy took out eastern Spain. Obviously, I'm going to take that back or do my best. And let's see, what else? Um, yeah, so you can see the Americans uh, dropped off in uh, northern Spain. There was one German infantry that walked in there and took it, so I uh, eliminated him without a casualty. And uh, let's see, American bombers making their way to Malta. Britain tried to do a bombing run on northern Italy that was successful, and then tried to do a bombing run on southern Italy, not successful, and he took out uh, my strategic bomber with his factory AAA. So that was unfortunate. Um, moving on from there, let's see. Um, Anzac, like I said, building up here. There are more America stuff on the way. Let's see. This is going to be very interesting. Very interesting to see how this pans out. Uh, obviously, this isn't looking good. So I think we're leaning towards an Axis victory at this point. But we're both very happy with uh, the mods and what we've done and to, uh, to change the game up a little bit. Um, anyway, so pretty much pretty certain I covered everything at, that, uh, at this point. So we will resume with another round of play tonight. Um, my computer is in the shop right now getting my battery swapped out. So I'll leave posting this video and that video and whatever video other videos I record at a later date um, once I get my computer back. So uh, if you're in if you're in your own game YouTube, if you're having your own game right now, uh, best of luck to you and make sure you roll the dice better. Till next time, I'm Muscow.